What is up guys, Prince Boy here, back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about Forza Horizon 4. Um I wanted to make like a little wish list slash prediction of what is gonna happen in Forza Horizon 4 and the Forza Horizon franchise in general from here on out. So um let's let's all be talking about things like the customization, the location. But it got um cars obviously cars I would like to see in the game um like the possibility of bikes being introduced into it and the possibility of it being a role playing game so well, let's get started with some cars I like to see I like to so I split it up to into where uh into a category into two categories for the cars. I'll have like the general cars and also I'll have a few cars that I would um that I chose to be the cover car candidates. So let's start with the regular cars. Um I like to see the Audi R6 in the game. Um also the Mercedes racing truck that we had in Forces 6 and 7. That was like a really good car I mean truck and it was really popular. So that would be cool to see. Um the Bugatti Chiron. That's something a lot of people have been asking for. So I think that will be cool. And um, I also put a minivan. So the reason I put a minivan is, like, I think it will be very it will be funny, really, <laughs> to have, like, a minivan in it. And, um, you know, it could just be something like an old Honda Odyssey or, like, a, I don't know, Chrysler or whatever. But I think, like, it will be funny to, like, see a stanced minivan. And then, especially because of the location the game might be in, which I'll touch upon later. So yeah, minivan, uh, the Cadillac limo. Um, I was all I was hoping they would the um, uh, turn ten would have put that car in um, Forza Horizon three because I mean it's a lip. Uh, I I don't think a limo is good for Forza mo motorsport, right? I mean it's funny, but it would have been way better off in Forza Horizon three. So they have to bring it in here in into Forza Horizon four. The McLaren Senna, I think that could work. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, also, an F1 car. I think that will be cool, like, uh, going 200 miles an hour. <laughs> like, down uh, straight or something. And, like, it'll be cool in, the, in all the races. So, yeah, that's a possibility. Um, I think this is a lot more plausible. The Alfa Romeo Giulia, or the Stelvio. I think, like, the uh, obviously the quadrifolio version, I think we could see that, especially since it's already in um, uh, Forza, uh, Forza 7. Also, I like to see uh, VW come back, and especially with the bus, the VW bus, I think that'll be a cool addition. And um, also, I think, I think we'll all want to see, like, more classic cars that we've seen in, like, the Forza Motorsport franchise. I think if they carry that over here into um, Force Horizon 4, that will be awesome. The Alpine A1, A, A110, I think that will be cool. Um, especially since the Force Horizon 3 already has the older generation A110. So, yeah, the, I'm talking about the 2017 one, of course. Um, uh, I think I like the Land Cruiser they had. In Forza Motorsport Seven, the uh, what is it? The Atlantic version or like the Arctic version? I think yeah. I think if they brought that into the game, that would be cool. And especially with the uh, maybe they might bring back a snowy environment or whatever. Um. Also, the Trackhawk, something else that I think is very plausible. The the Jeep Trackhawk that should come into the game. The new Aston Martin Vantage. That could be a cover car, I don't know, but like the 2017 one, it looks pretty good. I think I'll like it in the game also. The new Lamborghini Urus, Lamborghini Urus, um, they already have it in the game as a concept car, so I don't know if they would want to put it in, put the production version in. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe not. That's a possibility. And uh, the AMG, AMG GT four-door. Um, it hasn't come out yet, obviously, but maybe in like a in a DLC they might have released. They might release, and they could put that car in there. 
Um, also, the Mercedes AMG Project One. That's another possible car that they could put in um, as part of the game straight away, or as like the as part of a DLC. The new Renault, 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 uh, oh my gosh, Renault, I think Meg, Megan RS. That'll be a good addition. And and now let's talk about the cover cars. So I have what I put down is the twenty nineteen GT five hundred, the McLaren seven twenty S, the Lamborghini Performante, the new Chevy Corvette ZR one. The new Toyota Supra and the TVR Griffith. So let's start with the cars that I don't think would happen. So let's the twisted the seven twenty S. I if I'm not mistaken, Project Cars two for Project Cars two that is already a cover car or like that's a main car in Project Cars two. So I mean, it wouldn't really make sense to have it in as a cover car in Forza Horizon four. And, like, by the time Forza Horizon 4 comes out, and maybe later this year, the, you know, 720S is at least one or two years old by then. So, I don't think that's happening. Same deal with the per- Performante. I mean, it isn't really a cover car for any game. But, then again, it really it doesn't really work with Forza Horizon 4 as a, um, as, like, a cover car, I mean, you know, it's more race prep, so, I don't know, I don't think that's possible, that's gonna be a cover car, um, and also, yeah, so those really are, those really were the two main cars, I think, wouldn't have made it, now, here's the cars I think will make it the Supra, the GT500, the ZR1, or the TVR, so when the GT the GT five hundred is really possible possible since um it hasn't come out yet so by the time the the Forza the by the time Horizon comes out it'll be a pretty fresh car and it'll be pretty cool to be as a cover car I mean I think it has that uh stardom or whatever okay and um the ZR one I mean by the time the game comes out it might be a little bit old but i think not old enough to be ruled out from contention and then now the supra that is something that i think might might happen i think that has a real chance of happening especially since uh, many people are thinking uh, the game could be set in japan and of course we have the tvr griffith um i honestly like that car I don't know if if it's like no well known enough to be have to be like um a cover car. But yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure. But I I think I think um I won't be surprised if it is right. So really, I'm going for the GT five hundred or Supra. Um, to be the cover car. So yeah, um, we'll see. Moving on to like uh the customization options. So I'm a I want to I want like uh Horizon Four to be a lot more like um Need for Speed Payback in terms of customization, as in window stickers, and like and like um different body panels. I mean we have there's a little bit of that in uh Forza Horizon Three, but you know they're usually for some cars, with white body kits and so yeah um I think. It'll be cool if, like, that was, like, able on a broad basis for all cars to have, like, a really large customization option. And maybe, like, we could finally change the exhaust tips. That'll be really cool. That's something I think a lot of people have wanted. Um, And then, obviously, tint the headlights or taillights or completely change them out. Uh, and then um maybe have, like, different front and rear rims, if you guys know what I mean. So really, I just want like um Forza Horizon Four to be able to at least um be up there with the competition, like Need for Speed Payback in terms of customization, or at least be able to one up them, you know. So yeah, and now going on to the geography slash terrain or whatever you want to call it. Um. So first off, I honestly think it could be um 
it's going to be set in Japan, right? There's been so many rumors. I think there's been a leak. It's like uh, the chances of it are not happening is really low. But if it weren't to happen, my second candidate would be California. I think that's like um, that has a lot of the things that we've been wanting in the Forza Horizon franchise. So I think that'll be a cool addition. But I think for Forza Horizon 4, it'll be set in Japan. And maybe um, in the next few games, we'll see it in California. So I like a large map, you know, a larger map, obviously. Um, obviously, the Horizon games and games in general always have to one-up the um their previous game otherwise there's no point in buying it right so larger map um you know something a lot of people have been wanting especially me is um mountain roads way more mountain roads uh just like forza horizon 2 we really do not have that in forza horizon 3 in australia um yeah that is like non-existent really maybe some better elevation changes like, you know, when we drive, um, this is, like, been displayed in, um, Need for Speed Payback and, like, other games. Like, it's, um, it's really cool and it gives the game more depth, if you guys know what I mean. Right? And then, um, we, um, we, I think, especially if you're in an off-road car, like, there should be more freedom in where we could drive and also, like, you know, being able to rock climb, you know? I think that'll be something a lot of people would like to see happen. Um, and obviously, I think the runway should be bigger. Maybe, you know, around two mile, two miles or so. And um, I think um, they should bring back the option for a uh, quarter mile race. Instead of just a regular one mile. I think a lot of people would like that too. And yeah, so now I want to like touch upon what I think Forza Horizon in the future generally should maybe include. Um, so first off, something I um uh, kind of found early on playing the Forza Horizon games was that they didn't really have a good sense of speed, you know. So like, if you go seventy or eighty miles an hour, it's pretty. It feels pretty slow. Slow, you know. Or if you or say if you go at traffic car speeds, which is around sixty miles an hour, it feels really, really slow, like maybe twenty to thirty miles an hour in real life. So I mean I I would like um the games to improve on that. So yeah, so it'll just feel way more realistic. Right. And um also, something a lot of people would like to see happen, I'm sure, is better crash physics. I mean, uh, we've seen what, uh, what, what's possible with like B, 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 M, G drive, like the crash physics on that thing is crazy. I mean, you could explode in flames. <laughs> on Fords are really, it's you might break a glass or like maybe scratch up your car a lot, and like break the engine, but. Uh, but like visually n- really not too much happens right so i think it'll be cool if forza um horizon would like include that especially even for the motorsport if they had that that would be I, I think that's a good thing um so let's get into some more stuff that are a little bit um uh, not likely to happen if you guys know what i mean like bikes bikes in the game um Forza Horizon 4, I mean, it is, it's not like there's in, like, cars isn't the name of it. You know, Forza really means power in, um, it, Italian, I think. So, I mean, bikes could easily fit in. I mean, sure, Forza Horizon has been known for, um, cars, but, um, people have been, there's been a lot of rumors that bikes are bikes could be coming, and a lot of people think they should. I think that'll be a great idea, honestly. And um, also, there's been rumors about the game being a role playing game or RPG game, um, a lot like GTA Five, and um, I honestly think that'll be cool. And now there have been rumors that maybe this wouldn't happen with Forza Hor- with the Forza Horizon franchise but 
maybe another um Forza franchise could come up that's RPG. So, I mean, if they were to do that, I don't think they should because I think uh, Forza Horizon and whatever the new franchise is, that would be like very similar. So, I mean, they should, like, just keep, like, make Forza Horizon, evolve it into an RPG game. So, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty deep stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's what I think. And um, just tell me in the comments below what you guys think about it. And um, hopefully this will all come true in the Forza Horizon. So, see you guys later. Bye.